Welcome back to the channel. We're actually going to be doing some trailer upgrades to my 20-foot open deck trailer. Uh, we had a winch on here, but it was kind of a puny ATV winch. So we got with the guys at Rough Country and got their 9,500-pound, um, more like a Jeep winch. So they sent that out along with the cover and then a winch plate for actually a Mahindra Roxer, which is some kind of like knockoff Jeep thing. But we're going to mount that to the trailer, use that winch plate to mount it to the front deck of the trailer here. So let's get this unboxed here and we'll see everything that comes with it. There's a crossbar I need underneath I need to grab. So my thought is let's center this up and then we'll have to scooch it forward a little bit. So I need to find the center of the uh, crossbar underneath. So I think I'm going to drill a pilot hole roughly in the location where that's going to go. And then I'll be able to figure out the center line from there. So. And this is the crossbar I need to grab here. So I'm going to go ahead and I think drill the center right here where I roughly think it is. That'll give me the center line of that. So what we're going to do is we've got to pull 27 and a half off of this and come over. So we'll go ahead and measure that up. Got that drilled pretty much in the center of that crossbar. So we'll go ahead and see where that lined up up top. So that landed right there. So we can now use that measurement and figure out our width and everything. So we go, got ahead and got on that hole there. And we got everything squared up, so we'll go ahead and drill this cross brace just to make sure this catches. Let's go see how close we were. That's what we want it, right inside that cross brace, so we're good to go there. We'll go ahead and drill the rest of the holes.
I want to make sure I put a large fender washer on that one so it grabs as much of the deck as we can. That's a pretty cool tool. This is called a chalk shock. This is actually set up for centering holes. So, gotta unlock it. There's a lock on it. Give us our four drill marks. Pretty cool paint pen. It's used for marking holes.
these are the flag nuts they give you to attach, I guess, with the Jeep bumper winch plate. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them about right here. So I'm going to cut them right there, and that should let them grab the bottom and still act as a fender washer. So. <laughs> See, we got all the holes through, so let's see if this works. Good. All right, so that's gonna work perfect. I don't have to sit down here and hold these to tighten them up. Cool. Well, we can go ahead and drop the winch on and maybe drill these holes out a little bit more because I off drilled them just a little bit where it ended up being. So, I mentioned we've got to put these square nuts in here. So in the hardware, there's these square nuts. They sit in there. I'll go ahead and put the other two in there so they just drop in their slots. I did have to get a little bit longer bolt uh, because we're going through that cross brace. So we'll get those tightened up. We should be good. We're grabbing four points on that cross brace. That works for me. I'm gonna grab some nylon lock nuts for this and I'll grab a wrench. It's a tight fit. I might have should have put that on first. Alright, that 
worked. figured out what this is for. I'm assuming it's for this. But we all know what assuming gets you in the world. Okay, I think that's for tightening it up there. So we'll go ahead and put the hook on. Slide the flint out. Put the cotter P key back in. like all this is pre-installed. So we'll go ahead and grab the jump pack, just try it out. We do got to connect to one ground wire. Have been easier to there's a nut underneath of this i guess it would have been easier to do this before putting the winch on Trusty Noco uh, jump box. We'll override it. Grab the controller.
hope it works. Oh, come on, bag. I don't like is how that bunches up, so let's try it. Maybe it's supposed to stay like that, I don't know. That concludes that install. I'm actually pretty impressed with that, so I'm not sure about this being down. That's the only thing. I may unbolt that and flip that over. So I'm not sure that is supposed to be touching the rope. The way that that's flip flop down. So I may spin that over if that's easy enough to do. But pretty simple install. Uh, I'll be working on getting a battery box up front and a place to put the straps so I don't have to haul a jump pack around. And then we'll go over wiring it into the trailer wiring. So that concludes that. So. Like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.